Hey guys, this is Soul Rack 333 with another review. And here I have the Marvel Legends Super Villains Doctor Doom. This is part of the Zemnu Build a Figure Wave. This Doctor Doom does not come with any of the Build a Figure parts though. Um, now, I don't know the storyline for this version of Doctor Doom. I honestly only bought this for this accessory and when I brought it home my wife snatched it from me and put it in her haunted house to go along with the other Marvel skulls this is the one that came with Apocalypse and then I got a I guess a Drawn a blank on the guy. Flaming skull head man. Oh, I'm drawing a blank. Whatever his name is. Motorcycle dude. So there he is. Looking very clean, except for that black smudge right there. Looks like most of the parts are the same as this version of Doctor Doom. Uh, the metal, the armor looks brighter on this one. Uh, not just because of the white, but I think it is a brighter uh, silver color. Well, this one looks kind of like steel. Uh, the only other differences that I see are the gloves and different torso the skin around the eyes seems to be a little bit more paler than those uh, but it looks like uh, the hood is the same the cape is different because this wraps around uh, the neck so Everything else is the same though. I think the hood is the same. Yep, same hood. And I want to show him the other white costumed characters. That is very bright. And let's keep this going. Other white characters. White as in white costumed. Getting kind of crowded here. Let's, let's make this happen. Let's make it work. Come on. I don't want 
stand. Too white. Where's Padme? Sister, you have a sister with a lightsaber. I like art. Look at my hat. It's going white too. characters and then not just that but since I'm not attached to this character at all and I prefer this. Let's see what happens next. And here he is, all painted up. And basically, I just gave him a black wash on just the armored parts of this figure. Um, I took the whole thing apart and again gave it a black wash and then dry brushed it with silver. And I think it came out very nice. Uh, I left everything that is white unpainted. So I really wanted that to stay clean. Uh, and I think it looks cool. The black wash definitely brought out some of the line details on the chest, especially around the face too. Um, and I just kept dry brushing uh, the silver until I got the look that I wanted. Uh, so, yeah, I think it came out very nice. You can see a little bit of a reflection on there. I can actually, I can actually see my finger on the shoulder there. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. You can see a side by side with the first Doctor Doom and this guy. Like I said, I still prefer this one. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. And again, I have no attachment to the new one, but apparently the accessory that I wanted is Thanos. And now that I know that, I can see it there. And I just so happen to have a Thanos here. So yeah, I can see that chin. Or looking very cool. This one still has the darker uh, metallic armor. This one has the brighter one, but this one I haven't touched up at all. That's the original plastic. So I will keep this as is. And I had no attachment to this version of Doctor Doom or this figure. Uh, but I think I will keep it. So, thanks for watching guys.